Today I am at a client and I have um, some hay baskets that I need to plant up as well as two of these really cool kind of standing baskets. You can see kind of how big they are. I'm gonna apologize in advance for the wind because it's windy today and I kind of tried to find a secluded area to shoot this. Um, as well as for the noise you're gonna hear in the background. It sounds like there's a lot of construction going on. Here's what we're gonna do to line this basket. What I've done is I've taken from my roll of burlap, a piece of burlap and I'm going to double it up. So it's pretty big size. So when you take it like this, you want to make sure that this is big enough to fit in your basket and, and really hang outside of your basket because we're going to fold these edges in. So the next thing I do is I'm just going to press this down just like this. And you can see that it's hanging over all of my edges, okay? And so the next thing I do is I get a bag and it just so happens that my grocery bags that I reuse over and over again from Sandex um, are the perfect size to fit into this container. What I do, and I've already done this, is I cut some holes, some snips in the bottom of the bag so that you can see I have some drainage holes, okay? And then I'm gonna roll the top down nice here and I'm gonna stick this in and it really fits perfectly in the bottom. And what this is going to do is this is going to retain moisture, yet there's enough drainage holes that the water is still going to run through, so I'm not going to get any root rot. So then what you do is you want to fold your edges in just like this, just like that. I'm keep this kind of tip towards you, just like that. And you, want, you can make your edges look pretty. You just kind of want to flatten this down. And so here's what it looks like once it is filled with dirt. So you can see how that settled everything. And now we're ready to plant this guy up. Here are the final six baskets. I have yet to water them, but let me walk you through uh, what we planted one more time so you can get a close up of it. So this one here, this really pretty um, super tunia, which is trailing from proven winners, is called rose veined. And you can just see how gorgeous that color is. Um, the second one that I put in, which is also from proven winners, is this super tunia, um, right here in this pretty pink color. This is a super, super tunia vista paradise. And then the third plant that I put in here is the super Binia royal cambrai, it's called royal cambrai. And then the last thing I put in is the creeping Jenny right here. Um, and that is called Goldie. Use the thriller, which is my taller plant the filler, which are my plants that fill in the center, and then my spillers, which are the plants that are gonna grow down this basket. Together here in the center of this basket, and then my fillers are gonna go around the outside. So um, I'm putting in a salvia, and it's called Deep Ocean. And this really isn't gonna get super tall. None of these are gonna get like hugely tall. That's not the kind of thriller I'm looking for in these. I'm just looking for just a little bit of height. So this is going to get about 12 inches tall. Um, this here is uh, called Bright Lights Yellow. It's by Proven Winners. And this is going to be about 12 inches tall. And then this, I really like this. This is a um, Euphorbia and it's called Diamond Frost. And this just gets these little, little airy white flowers. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll 
I'll bring it up a little closer. Really tiny. Um, and they're really airy and they just kind of will spit, fill in this whole centerpiece. Like they'll grow between this stuff. So I think that will look really, really nice. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in with my, um, with the stuff that's going in the center. So my filler. So this one here um, is a Million Bells and it has pink, yellow, and white in it. And again, I'll give you a close up of this once I have this all planted up. So I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna kind of put it in in like thirds. So let me grab those. So here's how I'm gonna lay this out, like one, two, three, just like that with this little million bells that is white, pink, and yellow. And my yellow is gonna tie in kind of to the yellow in my centerpiece. And then I also have another yellow that I'm gonna put in here. And I'm gonna put these in thirds as well. Um, and let me make sure I pronounce this right. Uh, Nemesia. But isn't it pretty? It's a, it's called a uh, banana and it's just beautiful. I just love this. I've used this before in my containers. Um, bees and butterflies love it. And it just, oh, it's gorgeous. And I should have one more of them. And I do, it's right here. He's not as big as the rest of them. But again, I'm putting this in thirds. So one, two, three. And then I'm gonna come back. Let me space these just a hair. Then the other one that I'm gonna use is that Super, tu uh, Super Tunia Vista Paradise that I used in the hanging baskets. This is also gonna go in here in thirds. And so this is why you kind of space this stuff out ahead of time, especially in something large like this. Cause you wanna know, you really wanna know what it's gonna look like. Uh, and you wanna have things sp spaced out appropriately uh, before you plant it up. And again, that's in thirds, one, two, three. Now, if you look at this, I know you're gonna say, well, there's no way she's gonna fit any more in there, but I'm gonna. <laughs> um, I am actually probably gonna fill in with two more Super Tunias and it's in this beautiful dark purple and those are just gonna go one on each side here and those will fill in. And this particular one is Super Tunia Royal Velvet, very pretty. Um, and all of this is full to part sun. Two of spillers, one on either side that um, I also put in the hanging baskets and that's this Creeping Jenny. Now, I, I know you're saying to yourself, she's crazy, she's packing all of these flowers into this container. Um, but I, this is just the way I do my containers at home. It's the way I do my clients' containers. I want them to look good like right away. Summer here in Wisconsin and the growing season for annuals is so short. I don't like to spend my time <laughs> waiting. I want like instant gratification. That's what my husband says. He's like, you just like everything done instantly. And he's right, I do. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of this out. I'm gonna plant this up and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna take a look at it. Okay, so here they are all planted up. Aren't they gorgeous? They are gonna be so beautiful this summer. So you can see um, why I wanted to add that dark purple in there. You know, I had the pinks, I had the bright with the pop of yellow, um, but I wanted to have um, some something dark for a little depth in there. And you can see how easily I was able to find room for this, for this beautiful Super Tunia. And I actually also had room to put a couple of Sweet Alyssum in the space um, on either side of this. And so then um, this will look, this will fill in and it smells fantastic and it'll look good like in May and maybe even part of June, but eventually it'll get taken over, but it worked really well in here. It filled in a little bit of space. Um, so you can see on this one, I had space like on both sides where I kind of put it. Um, so um, I think that looks really, really nice. And I hope that I provided some inspiration as well as some good tips for you guys um, to plant up your own beautiful containers. So happy planting and we'll see you guys in the next video.